welcome back to Space Engineers Analog Survival. So another YouTuber by the name of Mad Marvin asked a question about docking large grid ships, the large grid ships, in an airtight way in his scenario of uh, no suit survival. He wants to go to space without dying. So, uh, as I said in a comment on his video, and I'll link this in his comments as well, and I'll link his video in my comment or description or whatever. Let's take a look at the stuff I came up with. So I've got a small ship, which is pressurized, double door, it's an airlock, and as soon as I go outside I take damage, so for now I'll just close my helmet. On the ship, I've got the door, and I've got a merge block, which is currently switched off. Now this is, for those who don't know, if you don't play the game, uh, used to connect this thing to that thing rather permanently. You can then put two stu things together and, well, build, take old ships and stuff them together. In front of that we've got nothing. And on the station side, we've got the merge block, the door, set back one block, and then the edges of slopes. Because these connect airtight, but when the merge block is switched off, these will let go. So we can go into our sh pressurized ship, open our helmet, we have one, fly up to the dock, line ourselves, turn on the merge block, it turns yellow, because it sees something, click, we're connected, we can turn off our thrusters. And now our helmet is open. As you can see, as you can see our helmet's open. We've got a weird hand thing going on. We can walk in, we can leave that open. We can open this door, open the first door, open the second door, and we are now inside of our station. So if we go back, we do have to close all the doors. Could do with door less doors, but I decided to put them in. We can then turn back on our thrusters, turn off the merge block, and our ship is detached again. So that's that is how I might propose connected. Turn off doors into our ship and we could also go for small grid ships into large grid stations these controls have sensors on them so they close we've got a small hangar with a ship connected now this door has buttons I use timer blocks to open and close the door I can open the door and then get into the ship and then get out but and also to get into the ship, we've got on the HUD bar timers. <laughs> Start opening the door. Timer to take off. You can then fly out. control to reverse the ship back in. You can see in the HUD there are two unlit connections. As soon as we connect, those light up. We close the door. Once the door is closed. Air vents will push air back in. We can get out after a couple of seconds. Shift K, shift K control the station. Press the button. Press F. And open the door. Another way we can do it is with a sensor. So this sensor. Does precisely the same as the as the 
HUD controls and has these door buttons. But this sensor sees only small ships. It sees the entire hangar and a bit in front of it. Just turn that on. Close the door for demonstration. As soon as we approach the door, you can see the blinking light. It sees the ship. It opens the door. It can reverse into the thing. And when we connect the ship, the game sees it as a subgrid. It's no longer a ship so it doesn't see it anymore and closes the door closed wait a moment for the room to repressurize you can get out it's just that so Mad Marv that is how I present to you getting in and out of stations not so be it but well thank you for watching anyway and maybe till next time and maybe not bye